Hey guys, Phil here at Woods Tree Farm. Today we're going to do a little bit of firewood work. I've got a few trees around the property that are leaning real hard and I figure those are good candidates to take down. So one of them is right here. This is our road over the pond and I got this big maple right here. It's leaning out over the road and it's actually one of several along this road that we can take out but it's the biggest i've got another one up at the front of the property that's leaning out over the mulch pile that i want to take down though that one has some fencing grown through it i guess who knows 20 30 years ago they had some fencing up there some metal wire fencing so i need to pay attention on that one but today i'm going to take this one down and it's leaning right towards the water so we'll kind of see how it falls if it takes down some of these things that are close to the water i don't care about those i would love to kind of clear this whole edge of the pond road eventually anyway so that's not a big deal but depending on how it goes down i might be able to hook a chain up with the tractor and drag the whole tree up to where i want to process the firewood uh, if i can't do that then i might need to break it up down here and then take smaller pieces up we'll see how it goes but anyway let's get started by taking this tree down and we'll see where we go from there so follow along today let's have a little fun here we go bank down here to deal with so I'll probably probably end up cutting it over on that side that side's a little bit more clear uh, that'll give me a little bit more room to run if I need to if I need to run it's gonna fall this way to our right a little bit to the right and over the pond and uh, all right so we'll get set up here About 15 seconds ago, I was thinking I should put a wedge in there, and I didn't, and now I'm pinched. So I will get the tractor, I think. The tractor will make quick work of that. We'll lift that up, and get it out of here, and I cut it there because this is all tangled up in those trees. So I uh, intentionally cut it right in front of that branch there so I can get a chain around this section up here and hopefully tug all of this out that way. Uh, bring the tractor down though and use the bucket and lift up this log and get my saw out.
figured I better quit before I break something. Really shouldn't be tugging on the loader like that, but uh, yeah, heavy, heavy little tree. And I'm surprised that, that it really got wedged in there that tight that I couldn't get it out. But I'll go ahead and chop it off here. I'll take that section up and then I'll tackle that another day probably because I want to get cutting on this for firewood. All sorts of newbie mistakes today. Yeah, pinch it in there again. I'm gonna push a log forward that should free it up. not a bad little stack right there not bad for an hour's worth of work and uh, I think I'll save for the next video the splitting session I've got that maple to split there's still more maple down by the pond and I can pull a few more pieces of that up if I'm feeling adventurous I'm gonna have to get that cleaned up eventually if this kind of content's interesting to you make sure you hit subscribe I am in addition to doing Christmas tree farming starting a bit of a firewood business so I've got next year's inventory started up here behind me and this is going to get added to that pile and I'm trying to over the next few weeks double hopefully what I have out here and have a nice big rack of wood for next year's selling season. This year I sold out in about two and a half three weeks and um, I'm confident I can move a lot more wood if I have more wood next season so that's what this is all about. I also got right next to me this carryall full of wood a bunch of odd cuts if you saw my video the other day, I was uh, chopping some wood that got dropped off with our wood chips up in the parking lot. And that's what most of this is, was um, short pieces, some branch wood, and a little bit of larger pieces that were dropped off from that. So, whew, I'm tired. Sun's going down. Probably going to have to call it, call it call the day here. So, I appreciate you guys following along if you got questions or comments about what I did here. Obviously, I made a couple key mistakes. You guys can comment on that. I recognize I made some mistakes. And, uh, you know, live and learn, get better every day. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Let's go. Let's go.